Frumpkin. It is usually synonymous with fine jewelry, but today Mark Frumpkin is synonymous with motorcycles and the biker. <laughs> well, how about that, Lisa? Thanks for coming out today. Yeah, this is fun. This is my hobby. You know, <laughs> I'm a motorcycle nut. You know, uh, years ago, uh, a friend of mine said to me, you know, a guy like you that all you have working and everything else that you're probably crazy to be riding a bike and hence the plate. But <laughs> Uh, I've been riding since I was probably about 16 years old. We used to rent bikes up on Alter Street at a little place up there for like seven bucks an hour. Uh, plus it was a buck extra for a helmet, which I always, always bought that extra buck for the helmet, and I still do. Uh, but I've ridden really all over the place through the years. You know, I've been up and down the Blue Ridge Parkway about 15 times with a bunch of FAA examiners and pilot friends. Uh, doctors, lawyers, there's all kinds of people that ride motorcycles today that you wouldn't expect or suspect that that's what they do, but they do. And they're, you know, I'm not alone. I'm not alone out here with this motorcycle thing. It's just an awful lot of fun. Well, it's been an awful lot of fun for a long time because you have racked up a lot of miles on the motorcycle. And recently, BMW has recognized you for the amount of miles that you've been riding in only BMW motorcycles. Well, that's just on BMWs. That's right. And I bought all these bikes from Hermes down in Port Clinton. I'll give them a little plug because they're great. Their service is great. They've always been good to me. But um, the BMWs are easy to take a lot of miles on. You know, I've had Harleys and Yamahas and Suzukis and every brand. I had a Guzzi. I still have a Guzzi. I have a Guzzi from back in the 60s back there. But um, the BMW to me is the ultimate machine. I can get on that bike and drive it to Pittsburgh. And as I was saying to you earlier, there's enough gas in it. I don't even have to stop for gas. I have to stop for other things, but I don't have to stop for gas all the way to Pittsburgh. So um, they're just a great machine and I love them. And I just have no problem just getting on it and just whew, gone. Now, how did you find out that you won this award? Well, how, take us through that. Okay, well, Chris Baber, uh, the owner, Harley, Harley, yeah, sorry. Hermie Baber's wife called me up and said, Mark, you know, BMW has given awards out for 100, 200, 300, 500,000 miles. Uh, would you like me to look up your awards? Because you've had probably 50 bikes that you bought from us, and I could go through the serial numbers and get the mileage. I said, Chrissy, I said, if you've got nothing else to do, be my guest. You know what I mean? I have no problem with that. That'll be fun. And she looked it up for the time that they had computers and brought up all of the serial numbers of the bikes and the mileage when I traded them in. She said, Mark, you're up for a 300,000 miles of war. I said, crazy, you know, we could do that. We could do that, that's fine. And here I am, they called me last week and I went down and uh, Herm, who I bought my first BMW from in 1979, was there to greet me and he actually handed me the award and his son, Herm, was on board as well because he's the guy I've been buying bikes from for the last probably 20 years, 15, 20 years, and young Herm, the third, they're not really the first, the second, junior, senior, nothing like that. But uh, young Herm was there too, looking on. So uh, there's a nice picture of me on Facebook, for all my Facebook friends, of the three of us. It's a great shot. It was a, it was a lot of fun and a great day. And, you know, I think, it's, I think it was very nice. I think it was a very nice award. I think it was very nice of them to do that for me. Well, I think it's rather unique for people to get another side of you. They're used to yeah. seeing you in the suit and tie behind the glass cases with the beautiful diamonds and jewelry. Right. So now they see a different side of you and you have another major accomplishment by getting this. Uh, so we wish you many more happy miles of riding and we're going to let you uh, in a moment here get off and ride off into the sunshine instead yeah, of the sunset. sunset. Hey, Lisa, thanks for coming out today and I appreciate this and it's very kind of you. Thank you. All righty. Go for a ride. Okay, we'll fire this thing up. Thanks, Lisa. Now, if you notice, Lisa kept telling Mark to go, keep going. Never once said, I'm coming with you, but yet she ended up on the bike somehow. Well, here's what's happening on FYI's weekend.